Hey, what is going on guys? So I am once again about three weeks out now from my next show. I'm doing uh, USA's on July 28th with a muscle contest down in Las Vegas. I will be going there to compete for my pro card once again. So uh, hopefully this time it turns out uh, a lot better for me. And uh, so basically today I'm just gonna walk you through what, I, what I'm what i doing on a daily day that is um, going to get a massage. Right now it's 9.30. I just woke up, I haven't I haven't eaten anything. I've just drinking like. So I just pulled up to the location. Needless to say, I obviously can't film in there. Um, I wish I could just to kind of show you guys what I'm asking for, but I asked for a uh, Swedish oil deep tissue massage. So hopefully they're able to do it because usually, I mean, it's kind of a hard massage to play need one, especially right before the competition. It's gonna be really uh, beneficial in terms of relaxing the muscles and letting him look like fuller and expand more get a better pump and all right so in addition to getting the resonator removed i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to install these uh two can and air filters and basically what that's going to do is it's going to allow for a little bit higher airflow uh some people like to say that it's it's going to be bad for the engine because it's going to let in more dirt and like stuff like that but um I watched a lot of uh, videos going for both sides and the conclusion I came to is that it doesn't really make a difference. But what it will make a difference with is uh, the airflow going into the engine. I might get a little bit of an uh, a different exhaust note and I might like be able to hear like the turbo spool up a little bit more or something like that. So that's what I'm hoping for to come out of this. That's why I did it. Both of these things were uh, 100 bucks total, $50 each. These are Canon high flow air filters. Now when you look at them like this, you can really see the difference in airflow between these two just by looking at it. This is gonna be, I mean, this is actually, I could see sunlight through this one. I can't even see, I can't see a bit of sunlight through this one. Last thing I have to do is uh, put this engine cover back on and then I'll start it up and I'll, sh I'll show you guys what it sounds like. As for the uh, tool I used really quick, I just used a, uh, calls for a T25 head. It looks like a little uh, star, T25. really wanted to get um, some more drive-bys for you guys so you can kind of see the difference of exactly what it is but um, I just really want to wrap up this video so I'm not going to show that to you guys but what I will tell you is that on a, on a, on a cold startup it is it is much louder uh, when I when I get the boost up really high and then I let off the throttle instantly I do get a lot more crackles and pops with the resonator deleted and the uh, cold or excuse me the um, the high flow air filters both uh, being on the car at the same, or both being on and off the car at the same time. So it is louder on a cold startup, it's louder in general. Uh. How you want me to go on? I'm looking for advice. Back to get it, come back to get it, I ain't moving. 
So here's what I ended up doing for my breakfast. This is just a 12 or yeah, 12 ounce egg white omelet, salt and pepper. This is my cinnamon roll oats, which I like to put um, agave or brown sugar oats. The reason it looks like this consistency is because I pureed them so that it's like oat powder. So the agave or brown sugar, oats, salt, vanilla, cinnamon. Um, I put some coconut oil in there and I think that's it. So this is 1,020 calories, meal one. All right, so we are here. We just pulled up. I'm gonna get my meals and then I'll show you guys around the kitchen really quick. Going to Texas, Arizona, right here. So we're we're pretty we're going around all around the states. We got Oakland. We sent one in New Jersey last. Uh, Four hundred pounds of chicken. Wow. And that's that's just the speed there. If you want to talk to him, he's. Uh, oh, you know, he's sitting with me here. Oh, okay. Good. In between meals, we'll come in and do a couple reps, get a little pump in. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <sighs> dip, oh, Ooh. excuse me. It's okay. A little dip. Oh, that's awesome. A little dip. Machine. Sometimes it just feels good, like you said, just kind of. I know, like, like in, even in the morning, come in, just kind of wake yourself up. Yeah. Shock the muscles, get the blood flow. Thank you guys. Yeah, we wish you the best of luck. Keep grinding. Appreciate it. Sure, man. Take care. All right, so in case you guys don't know, most of you do already know what I do for my meals is I do three meals a day that are a thousand calories each. And these meals right here, I'll show them to you guys when I get home, are uh, they're around a thousand calories each and they give me the extra carbs. So eight ounces of protein, two cups of carbs per meal. And then the other one to 200 calories, I'll usually just like put some olive oil or coconut oil on top of the stuff or I'll just make some extra rice or eat some fruit along with it. All right, so here's the meals I ended up getting from ProTrain. I got three orange chickens, some uh, balsamic glazed chicken, uh, I think this is like egg whites and ground turkey with potatoes. Here's a uh, chicken verde burrito. The shepherd's pie, this is really good. They have all the macros and all the nutrition facts on these, which is really nice to have, of course. And then here are my extra carbs for each meal. So we got some brown rice, uh, some sweet potatoes, some red. So here's my lunch. It's the balsamic glazed uh, chicken with some green beans, potatoes, sweet potatoes. All right, guys, so I just finished cardio, and it got me thinking about food. Um, so, these are something I got for after the show. So I'm definitely a birthday cake 
flavored uh, junk food connoisseur, and I really want to find these, so I'm going to make a couple calls to some local 7-Elevens and see if they have any that we can go pick up. Birthday cake snack pies. What do you say? Do you have the birthday cake snack? Oh, seven. Sorry. No, the 7 Eleven birthday cake snack pies. 7 Eleven birthday cake. 7 Eleven birthday cake have it? Yeah, maybe. No, birthday cake. Yeah, it's like, it's like a, it. it's like a pie. It's like a pie. I, I don't know, I, th I have no idea. Oh my you wanted the birthday, you're talking about the birthday cake snack pies, right? Yeah. We got four of them right now. Is there any way that you, are you going to be there tonight or no? Yeah, I'll be here since, uh, until 10. Do you think you could put like, uh, two of them like behind the counter or something like that? Oh yeah, I got you. Okay, cool. And uh, do you also have the birthday cake like little mini donut things? So, they have the snack pies. I'm obviously not going to eat them uh, right now because obviously I have the show, but I am making a little stash for after the show. All right, so I'm having some green beans right now along with some uh, turmeric and uh, cranberry tea. All right, so right now uh, I'm headed to the gym, but I'm not going to be getting any footage in there because it's just too busy right now. And um, people get pissed off there when I film, so we'll save that for another time. But right now, or after the gym, uh, we are going to go out to dinner. Too uh, worried about um, like exactly what, I, what I'm eating and stuff like that. In terms of, um, like, oh, I can only eat brown rice and chicken and broccoli and stupid shit like that. I'm pretty lenient. Like, I'm just going to keep it clean and simple. I'm not going to worry about any sauces on there. I'm just going to avoid dairy. And So we didn't end up going to Benihana's because we walked in there and the carpets were kind of dirty and they had, like, food on it. I mean, it's a nice place, but for some, I mean, but it's also a busy place. So, I mean, it's... It's understandable to see why it's messy. Anyways, long story short, it was too messy, so we're gonna go to a different restaurant. Um, it's probably not gonna be as interesting, but I did get the birthday cake items from 7-Eleven that I've been dying to get um, for so long now. Like I wanted these last year, but they didn't have them in the um, in the store last year because, I mean, well, they did, but just not the location that I went to, but I called around like you saw earlier. And I found a location and we went there. Um, wasn't in the nicest area, but we got the snack pie, so that's all that matters. And we got a donut. But they're gonna expire, so I'm probably gonna have to freeze them. So for dinner, I just ended up having, um, it was like a burrito with uh, no dairy products, no sour cream, no cheese, no queso, nothing like that. So I just had like a big burrito, uh, some rice and some beans. I didn't get any footage of it because I just didn't really wanna bring the camera in there. And it was probably about 1,100 calories. So I'm going to end the day at exactly 3,000 because my lunch was about 850. <laughs> All right, so for breakfast today, I'm having uh, these multigrain pancakes with some berries and coconut oil and then a little egg white omelet. The, uh, that brown stuff is because I cook it in the same pan as the berry pancakes were in, so meal one, 900 calories. I did 900 today instead of 1,000 because I think I can afford to uh, tighten up a little bit, so today I'm probably just gonna eat 2,800 calories instead of uh, 3,000. Here's what I look like right now with no pump.
All right, so I'm going to the gym right now and I'm gonna be, I'm, I am kind of hungry. So I'm having one scoop of my uh, one at BCAs. And then this is something I take every day, regardless of whether I'm hungry or not, because this is a, a multi-source creatine <laughs> and glutamine product, which is basically gonna help me stay fuller and keep my muscles fuller by uh, helping them store more water. You look nice. Whoops. You look nice and big and full. All right, so one thing I uh, I haven't really touched on before is the fact that when I'm like four to six weeks out from a show, to be honest, I really don't train legs that much because it just really, uh, it just saps a lot of my energy and, and more importantly, saps a lot of my, uh, a lot of the glucose that I want to be stored elsewhere. So in other words, when I'm working out, I want to keep my upper body and my calves full of like glucose and, and water and, and blood and stuff like that because legs are not, I mean, at least as far as uh, quads and hamstrings go, they're not really that essential for um, men's physique since they're covered up by board shorts. I mean, my, my legs are like a pretty decent size and they're definitely not like scrawny, so that's, that's really all I care about. Uh, we're going to vitamin shop because I want to, um, I saw that, I saw they have like a new Quest Bar flavor and I've told myself like, I don't know, probably about 10 times that I'm never ever going to buy another Quest Bar again, but this flavor looks pretty good and if it's, if it's soft when I touch it, then it's, it's probably going to be a pretty decent flavor. So, and on top of that, I haven't, uh, I haven't made like one of those Quest Bar cookies in a while with, where you just like flatten it out and then you put them in the oven. All right, so they actually didn't have the flavor that I was looking for at Vitamin Shop, but they actually had this flavor, which is a new flavor. Um, supposedly, it's very good. So I'm gonna give that a try, both in like plain bar form, and I'm gonna bake this one. So I'm gonna eat this one how it is, and then I'm gonna bake this one. I'm gonna see which one's better. This, I've had this before. This is pretty good. So I'm gonna see how these taste. I do like uh, Fruity Pebbles, and that's what this one is. And it's kind of like a uh, like a Power Crunch bar. And I'm like a, I'm, I kind of like those, so we'll see how these are, supposedly. Occasionally, I just like to see what um, like whey protein, whey protein bar products are out there. This is not whey protein, but obviously these are. So that's what I did tonight. Okay, so I want to explain how I do my breakfast. Um, what I do for breakfast is that this is the breakfast. In addition to pre and post workout, is usually when I eat most of the sugars that I intake for the day. So, for example, today for breakfast I had two of these blueberry scones um, for a total of 640 calories in addition to this uh, Quest Bar, like you guys just saw, and this was actually pretty, it was pretty good, it was pretty, pretty surprised by it, um, definitely probably one of their better flavors. One thing I don't understand about these is it always seems like whenever they launch a new flavor, they like always make that batch taste the best for some reason. It kind of just seems like even with like the one bars and quest bars, when they release a new flavor, the first batch always tastes the best. Then after that, they start making them all like shitty and they end up all like rock hard and they taste like sucralose and whey protein, which is just nasty. So I have this 640 calories plus 200 calories plus three eggs, putting me at a total of, um, like a thousand fifty calories for my breakfast, and then for like a little snack because it's two o'clock uh, right now. I just ate this, and this was actually really good as well. Uh, no, it didn't taste like fruity charms. It kind of just tastes like a vanilla protein wafer. So as you just saw, that didn't really work out. So instead, I'm going to use this uh, 200 calories of guacamole.
I'm going to the uh, to the gym to do some shoulders, I think. So I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do for that. And I only have an hour to do it because it is 10.39 as you can see, and they close at um, 12. All right, so I'm gonna start out with a, a super set of upright rows and front delt raises. Upright rows with the easy bar, front delt raises with the straight bar. gym is unfortunately about to close because it closes at 12 here and uh, so I'm just going to finish up with my 15 minutes of cardio. Well it's 15 today because I did about 30 minutes of walking around at the mall. More like an hour but because I did an hour of walking I'm just going to count it as 30 minutes because obviously that's very low intensity and right now I'm doing 45 minutes a day. So an hour of walking at the mall. 30, a nice hard 15 minutes in the Stairmaster. I'm good for the day. I'm gonna end the video here because I think I've shown you guys uh, a good amount of stuff as to what I do in terms of uh, what I'm doing three weeks out. So I'm really gonna try to get on here more and make more videos for you guys. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.